Flying type? What does that even mean? There are no pure flying types. And every Pokemon that's a flying Pokemon has it as a secondary characteristic. All the Pokemon you're thinking about right now, just to prove me wrong, are dual types. Pidgeot is normal flying, Fero is normal flying, Talo is normal flying. All those birds you're thinking about are normal flying, so there's really no pure flying type Pokemon. So in a way, there are there's a lot of selection when it comes to flying Pokemon. A lot of the really powerful dragons are flying type, Gyarados is flying type, some very powerful defensive Pokemon are flying type. There's just a lot of selection, but no true flying types. Maybe that'll change in game five. I don't know. Now when it comes to attack and defensive types, flying types have some uh, have some good attacks and they can take out some good Pokemon. They hit fighting types pretty hard, so that's useful. They hit grass types and bug types as well as well, a little less useful. On the defensive side, they don't necessarily like being hit by some of the more common attack types in the game. Take electric attacks or ice attacks or rock. Stealth Rock they really don't like, because in competitive play, every time they come in while Stealth Rock is up, they lose a quarter of their health. That is not good. Of course, they enjoy one advantage over, say, something like a Fire type or a lot of other Pokemon types, in that they can come in on ground attacks and they will not be hurt at all. They're not affected at all by Earthquake and a bunch of other ground attacks, which is a nice thing to have, especially on your uh, very strong offensive Pokemon like, say, Salamence or Dragonite. It's a little defensive bonus that's nice to have. Now, when it comes to my favorite flying Pokemon, I do like Crobat. He has, a, he has a nasty way of surprising people with some of his tricks and offensive strengths. And then, of course, you got Gyarados and Salamence and Dragonite and all those things. But I like Star After when it comes to the bird Pokemon. You know, it's got some nice attacks and a little nice surprise for the rock Pokemon. The one question I have when it comes to flying Pokemon is, how come Dodrio does get hit by Earthquake? It can't fly.